the most amazing Airbnb experience ever. My bestie and our families met up in France and booked this place for four nights. Oh look, reading material. The Airbnb ad didn't match the actual Airbnb at all. Of course, none of the doors locked easily, but that's okay, old place, whatever. Oh wait, water stains everywhere, on the walls, on the floors, on the chairs. Oh, and on all of the electronics, including the Wi-Fi and the TV, which did not work throughout the duration of our stay, which was really frustrating, including this box that was filled with water. No oh, no doorknobs on any of the doors for the toilet? Oh, it's okay, the lights kind of work no they don't work and the toilet seats well they don't work at all showers gross ew and um there was this surprise corn husk behind my toilet bonus i guess the kitchen was cool but cluttered and dirty and filthy and we had to use the toaster in the dining room because you know electric issues everywhere Strangely enough, there was a backup kitchen upstairs next to my bedroom, which you had to walk through. So when we cooked, you had to go through my bedroom. But you know, oh, the chairs didn't work, this one died. I guess you could say the place had character. It had a cool floor plan. Um, the doors didn't lock, so we had to use this method. It was odd. When you first enter the apartment, you're greeted with this really scary teddy. The place was just dirty and none of the electric worked. There were stains on everything, gross sponges, like just gross. Upstairs, the floor plan was odd. It was quirky. One bedroom even had a shower in it with no wall. And the rest of the rooms were connected through a hallway that was covered in water stains um, that led through this weird second kitchen area. Every surface was covered with something. This is our friend Maurice. Now on to the back bedroom. The floors were, had this crazy squeak to it, which was quaint, um, but you know, when you had to walk through other people's bedrooms to go use the toilet in the middle of the night, it was loud. Here's a walk through the whole upstairs so you can get an idea how they are all connected. And um, and when we needed to sneak into each other's, uh, through each other's rooms, we used Maurice as a little bit of cover. Maurice was a good friend. Needless to say, we complained to Airbnb and we got a whole 25 euro back. So lovey.